history that became Babylon by inverting the laws of God. And what he was generating were thrones of darkness. Demonic thrones, influential demonic thrones started, started finding expression because the laws of God are being consistently and perpetually violated. Now, come, come with me. In your family, somebody that has the gift of headship, somebody that is the head of the family, there is a gift he has. Headship and authority. That's why if they want to marry, they'll go and look for the eldest one. Because that one has the gift of headship. And to a great extent, is a very influential personality in that particular family. Right? Now, so that person begins to e erect an altar unto a deity. And he begins to call the name of everybody in that family. Obviously, if you are in Christ Jesus, um, there has been a disconnect from that family. But it doesn't mean that when a man starts that his thing, you will not feel the impact of what he's doing. You will feel it. You will sense it. But when you sense it, you now begin to draw your own realm. You begin to draw your realm. And then your realm now contends with his realm. So for a season, because you are drawing on your realm, and your realm is contending with his realm, the thing he's doing is not affecting you, but it's affecting others. That's one level. Where you are free from the attack is one level. But that's not what I'm preaching. What I'm preaching is, we must be the one influencing that family. Your realm begins to operate the family. That's what I'm talking about. I know some of you have received that level of deliverance. What they do now doesn't affect you. Don't celebrate. We need everything in this land to reflect Christ. Just like heaven reflects God. That is the reason why we want to set up the kind of prison. Please tell your neighbor, anything can change. Anything that An narcotic husband can change. A wife that is a witch can change. Everything can change. But it will depend on drawing on the resources of your realm. Your financial condition can change. I went to pray. I don't want to talk much about that. But I tell you, when we are talking finances and prosperity, it is spiritual. God will give you strange instructions. Strange, unreasonable instructions to do, to carry out. Hallelujah. And no matter how many forces of darkness gather together, they cannot discomfit your finances because your finances came out of a wisdom. There's an instruction that you are carrying out that is responsible for the link, the flow that is taking place. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray. I thought I would be able to go far today. Egypt, suppression. Sodom is wickedness. Babylon is perversion of justice, of judgment, and equity. It operates with a mystery, a code that replicates it, that reproduces it. It's difficult to reproduce Egypt so much, but Babylon has codes by which it can be repl replicated and reproduced everywhere can be reproduced in church you can use the principles of babylon in church and babylon will be established in the church have an altar is operating is what is influencing the preacher to do the things that he's doing to hide the truth so that people will believe a lie and to operate in a certain way so that they will perpetually remain under bondage but the gospel of jesus that you have received is a gospel of liberty that has the capacity among all nations to liberate people from the hold of darkness and to, to, to launch them into the new and the living way. That is true, not just for you, but for your family, but for your territory, but for your region. Uh, salvation was not only for man. Before Moses began to deliver people, 
he began to contend with Egypt. With the, he did. This creation needs saving. And that's what the sons of God will come and do. They will come and deliver this creation from the bondage of corruption. And then the original manual will be restored. That's when you will discover that by that manual, the lion was meant to eat grass. Have you, have you read it in your Bible? 